give me the <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Alba, come here. Alba. <laughs> Alba. Right, so I'm here with Ronzo, the man who uh, is one third of our wall painting crew. Uh, he is a real German. <laughs> Unlike Dave, who's pretend. Uh, so just quickly, man, wh what did you paint on a wall? Uh, we painted like a little um, cloud worm, sort of, um, you know, what we, what we painted. It's like a ghost, it's like a ghost rider who's holding like a, a dragon on a string. <laughs> it's some sort of messenger. <laughs> Is it the best thing? You, it's the first time you've painted with a... Uh, with Lucas and uh, yeah. Chimp, isn't it? Well, um, I think we did like the stuff on the um, outside bits and um, um, and and, um, and on wooden boards, which like ended up in some street corner bits or uh, something like that. Because I, I saw like paintings from three years ago where all of us painted on, but this was the first production I, I believe um, indoors <laughs> on, a, on a nice wall and everything. So it's the first time you're actually eating pizza and drinking beer doing it. Exactly. As opposed to being on the run from the cops. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Times exactly. have changed. And I was very, um, very um, comfortable. So it was that very uh, comfy pizza, drinks, music. <laughs> it's the, the good life, basically. <laughs> Easy life. Easy life. Easy living. That was really good. So uh, what's, what's up next for you now that you've finished the pinnacle of the career, which is obviously painting the canoe wall? Yeah, I know. And I, where, no, to, it, where to now? It can, it can only go down, downhill from now, so it's, the, it's the high point <laughs> now in our careers. Um, I'm having a little show in, in Covent Garden this Thursday. It's going to be like a collaboration with different artists from uh, and my character project, Johnny Food Project, with um, all cities and t-shirt brand label thing. Is that JohnnyFood.com? Um, JohnnyFood.org. .org. Yes. And um, I'm doing this, and I'm working on stuff for like a solo show, and then obviously do more screen prints, and um, do more wall paintings, doing sort of outdoor installations, like doing everything basically. So you got everything, haven't you? It's gonna, it's, it's, it's never ending story, man. It's like, <laughs> but it's good, man, it's all good. Okay, uh, anything for the Germans out there? Last words in German? Um, As it was a German night, we've got to do something in German. In German, in the end. Um, ja, macht's gut und um, schönen Tag noch, ne? Bis dann, tschüss! <laughs> All right, how's it going? Yes, very well. Just a quick, uh, just a quick couple of questions. What, what did you do on our wall? Uh, painted a tribute to friendship. Uh, <laughs> Living in London, you you meet a lot of people, you make a lot of friends. But London is a pretty harsh city. It's very grey, it's very rainy, and so we made a representation of our friends lifting us above the shit of the city. <laughs> That's very so, good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, on one of your worms. Yeah, well, it takes everyone, you know. The, the we're all lifting each other up, so it's. Uh, it's about friendship. So what was it like working with uh, Ronzo and Lucas? Oh my god, Radio Ronzo. <laughs> Lucas, stop flushing the toilet, it's not easy. <laughs> it was very good working with my German brethren. I, yeah. I can't think of anything better to do than work with efficient Germans that keep us there until half past one in the morning. <laughs> um, what else are you up to at the moment? Uh, just completed three solo shows in three German cities in three months, so I'm on a little break at the moment. Uh, just come to London for a holiday, really, to ride skateboards, to see all my friends. It was our annual skateboard jam, Hackney Olympics, and uh, paint in the canoe offices. Have a barbecue, eat some wurst. Very good, very good. <laughs> so you got to wind it up with the last German comment of the night, because they've both given us a German comment for the German people out there. 
obviously. Oh, Ah, uh, the German comment. Let's think about this one. Let's stop for a second. Uh, warum Scheiße? <laughs> it, uh, it got you to the stage where you were uh, stomping your feet on the ground at one stage. Yeah, I don't know, it's just uh, sort of halfway through the body, there's three pieces, the head, the body and the wings. And uh, halfway through the body, I realized that something went wrong, but I couldn't really figure out what. So I have to, had to kind of um, improvise, basically, freestyle a bit. But it went quite well in the end, I mean, so yeah, yeah, sort of yeah, yeah, it was of course more because like, you know, Ron was uh, always too funny because, because he, uh, yeah. well, he's like a baby. We did finish at 1.30 in the morning. They're both pretty quick, aren't they? Yeah. So it's yeah, like the biggest and hardest piece of Orient Army you've ever done. The hardest thing was the walk in the park, but for me it was a bit of a rollercoaster ride. It looks good though when it was finished. You must have been happy with it as a final, final piece. It's okay, yeah. I wish I had, would have had black paper at this size and a better sort of paper because that one keeps on kept on like cracking and ripping and stuff and uh, it's basically watercolor paper which is uh, structurally not very strong. The perils of origami. Yes. So were you up to at the moment? Anything else on the uh, origami front? Um, nothing major really. I mean, you know, I'm not an artist or something. I do this as a hobby basically. Child, as I had some Japanese friend back then, and so I got into it. But I went to Japan um, was that, two months ago now, and I bought some pretty good books there, very difficult things, sort of like pro level almost. I mean, some of it I don't know if I ever want to do it, but um, I definitely want to try a few other things. You know? Cool, so we can get you back again to do a whole exhibition of your uh, origami. Um, <laughs> I mean, in one night? If you want, yeah, if you want, I'd be up, up for it at some point, but you get to let me know early, because it takes a lot of time. Uh, so, in, in the uh, true German fashion as well, you have to say uh, something in German for everybody German out there. All the Germans out there, alle durch, Digga. Final words. Schlagstock and geil. <laughs>